A dangerous multi-drug resistant fungus is rapidly spreading in hospitals across the nation. Cases have tripled in just three years. 13 News reporter Carson Courier spoke with the Pima County Health Department about the threat here at home and how the county is planning to mitigate the spread. The reason that this has become such a serious global public health threat is that it has become resistant to several classes of antifungals. As candida auris spreads throughout hospitals and nursing homes, health professionals are bracing for a possible surge here at home. What we have seen is the, the graph is going really up. And that's because the fungal infection is not only drug resistant, but it's hard to diagnose. Healthy individuals are not at risk for Canada auris, but the ones that are at risk are the ones with weak immune systems and those that have long dwelling medical devices. Especially high risk people that has uh, any kind of tubes like the nasogastric feeding tubes or the catheters for dialysis or urethral catheters and things like that. Outbreaks are being seen in healthcare settings, especially those that are short staffed. As hospital workers were strained by coronavirus patients, health professionals say their focus likely shifted away from disinfecting some other kinds of germs. Really the best way to try to prevent this is really trying to reduce the amount of Canada auris that patients harbor on their bodies so that it doesn't spread to other patients. And so the biggest thing we can do is really hand hygiene and you can do either soap and water or alcohol based solutions to really get rid of all of those fungal spores. And then the other thing is really making sure you have deep cleaning of all of the facilities and the equipment with proper disinfectants. Reporting in Tucson, Carson Courier, 13 News. Since Canada Auris is resistant to all three classes of antibiotics used to treat fungal infections, health professionals say they're on high alert to stop the spread before it gets out of control. Right now,